Hey, DJ Professor Dan here, your friendly, if snarky, pop music historian, giving you my thoughts on Mel Bainbridge's uh, 1995 Australian number one, Mouth. Mouth is a song that sounds like a children's television presenter singing knowingly about sex. Now, obviously, uh, Mel is a high rating children's television presenter. She is, after all, famous on TV. TV. Okay, just in case I'm being a bit confusing, uh, Mel is not, nor has she ever been, to my knowledge, a children's television presenter. She just gives off that vibe. So winding back, Mel comes across as a children's television presenter singing knowingly about sex, possibly 69ing, although nobody really seems to be sure. And uh, believe me, back, uh, back in the day, there was a lot of debate about this. Was it about 69ing? Well, Mel swears. Okay. Uh, actually, I doubt if Mel ever swears. Um, so let's go with um, insists adamantly. Um, Mel insists adamantly um, there's not a sex song. Um, but there are so many bits that could be about sex. Um, there, there are pieces, are pieces here. here. I don't know where, don't know they, where they go. They go. Uh, although fortunately she figures it out by the end. Um, by the end, uh, all, all the pieces, pieces there will fit, there will fit uh, to, to make, make you whole. You and she knows where they go. And I know where they go. So uh, clearly somebody has given Meryl the talk. The whole children's presenter vibe is uh, reinforced by the music. Um, I mean, what is that? Um, a banjo? Um, a looped sample? Or somebody beatboxing badly? Um, who else but a children's television presenter would take a song called Mouth so literally? Okay, Hey kids, today we're going to learn about mouths. Can anyone tell me what sounds a mouth can make? You get a gold star, Matthew. Mouth is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.